that's pretty. Oh. Morning, everyone. Good morning, peoples. Today is what? Day seven of Shaytober. It's day seven, Shaytober. <laughs> Got done with my C to 5K training. <clears throat> Went good. You had to run the wall 30 seconds longer. Yeah, the second week, as I'm sure a lot of you know, has 90 seconds of running. That's good. I did good. Yeah, I can feel it. I can definitely feel it. Just figures the first week, I was getting all cocky. And the fact that it only has 60 seconds of running time. Thought it was going to be harder because the weekend sucked. I didn't really train at all. Anyways, that's it. All done. But I'm going to go ahead and set my alarm clock here for about 20, 30 minutes. And go over here on the kids' jungle gym since it's free today. See you in a bit. All right, peoples. I'm done with my uh, jungle gym workout. I said I wanted to include a tip in all my videos from now on and my whole workout will be the tip for today so that I think I'm going to coin the shoots and ladders workout. Basically, if you're not a member of any gym and you want a tough workout, if you go running early in the morning and if you have a park nearby you, there's your prerequisites. You know, have your own little gym right in the middle of the park. Let me show you what I did. Here's my gym equipment. <laughs> wow, it looks brutal even on this little camera screen. So basically, I used my C25K workout plan day three that I just finished and I used those intervals to create a workout on this jungle gym. What I did was for the five minute brisk walk that it tells you to do first thing, I used that five minutes to go all out crazy running up and down chutes and ladders and jumping down chutes and ladders. And then once that beep came up, I did a brisk walk around the jungle gym, basically playing musical chairs with the jungle gym until my thing beeped again. Once it beeped, in the next interval I did some arm exercises, whether it was pull-ups or half pull-ups, whatever pull-ups I could do at this point. Since I couldn't do a real pull-up. Or a shadow boxing within the gym. Use the last two, two and a half minutes of the C25K intervals to do some jumping and do some push-ups. And I'll tell you what, at the end of uh, 25 minutes of the C25K using those intervals, it'll whip your butt hard. It's a pretty brutal workout. To the nearest thing that I can run up or do arm exercises and tear it up. That was pretty good. I think it was pretty good. Maybe I'm just out of shape. Uh -huh. Maybe if some other people can go ahead and do it and let me know if it challenges you, I would love to see it. I would love to see your comments, especially some people that are in better shape than I am, and see what we got. So. What are you doing, Hoods? I am making tomato sauce. Ooh, tomato sauce. Let's go take a look. Where'd you get all these tomatoes? Uh, from our ridiculous tomato garden. So what'd you do? How'd you start this? What are you going? What's going on here? Okay, so I guess we're doing cooking video right now. That's right. <laughs> um, what you do is you cut little X's on the bottom of the tomatoes, and then it makes for peeling the skins off. A lot easier. Oh, that does that does make it easier. Here, let me get a light on here. Bam. After you boil it, you put it in ice cold water. It shocks them. Oh, sh what is shocking? Uh, I don't really. And when we had cable, when all we did was watch television, is shocking is stopping the cooking process. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Because you don't want them to cook any more than that because you have other cooking to do. And it looks like you have what? Some onions? I have onions and garlic in there that I have been just slowly cooking. Delicious. So Good. they can be all sweet. And I'm also making my homemade bread. Very nice. And why do we make homemade bread? Because I know what goes into it. Exactly. We yes. know what goes into it. Just imagine what goes on in those factories mm -hmm. that make all those in our food. <laughs> well, I guess Paula has a tip for us too. And her tip is simply that you make your food at home. Make your food at home. You know what goes in it. The more fresh and all that, the better. Less processed. Obviously. Less processed, the better it is for you. Because you know what goes in it. So there you have it. I think that's our video for the day. I mean, do we really need to get on and show our ugly mugs anymore? I doubt you want to see that. Yeah, you guys don't want to see that no more. No, we're good to go. So we will see you tomorrow. Go watch Annette's videos. Annette Blodgett is the man. The that's woman. right. I just called you the man. Please go watch all the videos of all the people that are connected to us. Well, there's some pretty awesome people out there doing some cool stuff. There's a whole bunch of people that are connected to us through this whole Shadetober thing that are supporting us and we're supporting them. So help go support all of them and we'll all support each other and we'll just be one big freaking giant support team. Mm -hmm. All right, see you guys tomorrow.